There's seven brand new staves added as part of the Skyrim anniversary content. You need to go to Windhelm and we're going to be catching a ferry to the DLC island. Head to the docks at Windhelm and meet this dude whacking away at his mast and he'll take you to Solheim. Now you can do this at really early level, you don't have to complete the game. If you are Dragonborn, you'll have to maybe do a few extra little bits when you get to the actual Solheim Islands. Otherwise, you can peg it across to where a powerful mage lives. I would say this is still probably considered quite late game stuff, since obviously it is meant to be DLC after you've completed a big chunk of the work. But you can, like I said, do it pretty much early on in game if you really want to. You're just going to need to bring a whole ton of gold because you're going to be buying the staves directly. You will be able to find some of these staves in other locations though, in chests and at certain other vendors, but this is the most reliable way to get all seven of the brand new ones. You start off on the western side of Solheim and we're going to be going all the way over to the southeast. Obviously I haven't unlocked this site to actually go across the country and apart from a few Nick sounds, it wasn't too challenging. The staves are actually modelled after a previous game, I do believe Morrowind, and so it's taken inspiration, hence why you're going over to this location, which is also returning to a character from the Morrowind games. Now, I've gone over to tell Mithrin straight away, however, if you have started the Dragonborn questline, you may have to find this guy at the Earthstone, which pretty much overlooks Raven Rock. Nelof is his name and he is the beginning of the Dragonborn quest, which was part of the DLC back in the day. Of course this was all free as part of the special edition and of course now the anniversary edition too. So we go through some Merbelins, he's not the friendliest to guy, and then it'll offer you the chance to buy his staves. You can buy enchanted staves or you can buy staves with no enchantments so you can do it yourself. Now you'll recognise plenty of older style ones that have always been in the game but lots of new ones too like this one. If you want him to actually enchant your staves, you have to buy one from him that isn't enchanted, and then you have to go and give him a heart stone. You may also have to complete the steward missions also that he wants you to do to basically become his assistant before he'll start actually crafting and enchanting the staves for you. I was pretty low level when I was doing this, so I didn't actually get a chance to take a look and see what I could learn from any of them. I'm not 100% sure you can actually go ahead and enchant them all yourself. Now if he doesn't have the particular stave that you want or you want him to refresh his stock then make sure you leave the tower, save the game, maybe fast forward 12 or 24 hours and then come back in and hopefully that will replenish his stock or make sure you save the game and load it back up and see if he's got anything different. This way hopefully you'll be able to get hold of the variety you want. They look pretty cool and I think that's the main thing as there's plenty of other staffs that do similar jobs. He will sell older staves or staffs as well, so yeah, be careful, you're not just buying one that you can find anywhere. I can only presume that a lot of these staves will be available on Solheim and maybe not anywhere else, but I haven't tested that fully yet as obviously I've not explored the whole game since the update. So I just went and bought every single one and then I double checked with the wiki showing all the older style staves to see which ones were new. So one I really like is the silver staff. This is great, looks like it's got some pearl in its mouth and obviously the dragon's head on top of it. It does a variety of different damage types. I found one with chastening, but also found one that shot massive spikes of ice that did a huge amount of damage too. Then we've got steel, and again this one had chastening on it as well, which basically makes enemies flee. Then the Daedric Staff of Judgment, which creates a huge amount of frost damage on the floor in a wall shape. Back in the day, Power Mage was my thing. I was a real mage warrior with a sword and a staff. Then you've got the Drug Staff, which is pretty much crustaceans. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling this one as much, certainly the looks of it. And then we've got the Ebony Staff, which I kind of like the look of as well. I thought it was a bit more grander than some of the others. With a real big, massive hilt on the top and looking like it's got some sort of container in the middle. Then you've got two varieties of wood, they seem to be different colours. You had this lighter, sort of real decent brown colour, then a much darker, danker wood one. And then finally completing the full weapon set that you can actually have a glass weapon now, the glass staff. So yeah, this one looks really cool, and definitely want to get hold of one of these when I played the game for legit and proper. 
So normally the staffs in the past were associated with a particular spell. Certain staffs would always be from the restoration family or from destruction family. But I do believe it's obviously made it a lot easier for you to go in ahead and enchant whatever staff you want. And it's clearly shown that in the ones that he's selling, as you saw, we definitely saw two different types of magic being used on a different type of staff. So there we go, the brand new seven staves in the creation part of the DLC or part of the upgrade as part of the anniversary edition. Hope you found this useful. Check out the rest of my guides. I've done about 12 or 13 by now, taking a look at all the brand new content added in. And if you guys really show some love on these videos, I may take a look at some of the older stuff and do some guides on the older Creation Club content that's been around for a few years. Until next time, laters.